Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Takara One, or you can call me Teeks. It is whichever one that you would prefer to call me. And today's video is a little bit different. Um, I'm not gonna be doing my hair or doing my makeup or anything of that sort. I'm just gonna be doing like a, kind of like a sit down, talking type video. Uh, for these last two weeks, I haven't really been posting on YouTube. I've been doing just a lot of like self-reflection and just gaining a lot of new knowledge about things going on in the world and just the world in general and it kind of brought me back to this point in my life um of like realization that i don't embrace being a garment maker enough a fashion designer a designer um a clothing maker a sewer a seamstress whatever you want to call it and i feel like there are probably other people out there who probably go through that kind of like imposter syndrome ordeal like me so i wanted to create a video and touch on this topic and just talk about it i've been doing a lot of like just talking on my instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Takara One, but we've been getting like down in the nitty gritty over there on Instagram um, and just deep diving into like different conversations and just like debating about different things. Um, I just like to ask very like thought provoking um, questions. So it's been fun over there. You should definitely follow me over there on Instagram. But I came to the realization that I need to start embracing the whole like being a designer and garment maker more um i don't think people realize how how vital um of a skill being a garment maker is or knowing how to sew how much of a great skill that is to have in general so we definitely should embrace it more it's definitely a great survival skill it is a great skill to contribute to our communities i just want to do more videos on you know um not solely just focusing on beauty and like the styling portion of fashion but also just studying more on like textiles and how we can help the planet and our communities i get a lot of emails of you guys asking me for like advice on garment making and design and i'm like man like i i, I love that you guys always come to me and ask me questions about it one of the main questions i get is a lot of i get a lot of teenagers that'll come to me and be like oh so like well what if my parents don't approve of me being a wanting to go to school for fashion design or whatever my thing would be to just have an argument of stating how great of a skill it is to have so you can kind of like argue that there <laughs> to convince your parents of why this is a great skill to have underneath your belt and a great career path to go down um to further your education and why this is a great career path for you specifically so yeah i would go with the um basically showing them the value of design and garment making and um entrepreneurship and things of that sort so i just wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit that i will you guys will be seeing me embrace it more because i don't feel like within the past few years i have been embracing it as much as i should i feel like a lot of people look at people who sew or are into like um fashion or into like like fabrics textiles knitting um they look at us as the people who sit at home and our grandmas all day and that's definitely not the case um like i said it's a great skill to have underneath your belt one of my most top search videos here on youtube is like how to use my kimmore machine because this is such a like rare machine so i do want to help you guys more um learning about the machine learning about different machines learning about different tools that you can use um learning more about not just sewing on the machine but hand sewing and learning about like i said a lot of textiles that will help our environment more so that is what i will be doing moving forward is embracing it more um but also i wanted to show you guys some tools that i got like a while ago after my daughter was born and i also want to show you guys a project so right now i'm working on this thrifted skirt um, i'm just reworking it and i got this from the thrift store so yeah that is what i'm working on right now you guys will see a reel of this this skirt is actually made out of faux suede i believe 
So it's faux suede, it's polyester, but it looks like suede, but it's actually faux suede. And that's another thing I wanna talk about is choosing better fabrics. Um, again, that just help with our environment and things of that sort. So yeah, but let's get into this, I guess you would say like semi equipment sewing type haul. I know recently I just did a rant on my Instagram. I was talking about how I wanna kinda like stop like shopping on Amazon. So don't come for me right now. This is all stuff from Amazon, but I'm working on limiting buying things off Amazon and actually buying things directly from the actual websites from Amazon. So yeah. So I just have my Kimmore home machine um, manual in here and it looks like this. Y'all ask me about this a lot because a lot of people don't have the Kimmore machine because I think Kimmore is like they make other types of products besides just sewing machines um like how brother and singer they just like strictly stick to like that sewing stuff so kimware is like a og sears um product <laughs> but yeah so let me see what i find in here first okay i'll just use this so the first thing i bought was two packs of i think this is elastic spool and I got a black and a white one. And I believe these are, I want to say these are like an inch big. So I look like this. These are good for like waistbands. Put these in your clothing. You can use these on like cups of things. Anything that you want to have like that stretch. So that is that. I was working on a cropped hoodie set and I bought that for the hoodie parts. So then I also got it in like a half, I believe these are half an inch or one fourth of an inch um, elastic waistbands as elastic as well. And I got like an off white in black and it's all tangled up right now, but I will untangle it. So I also got that off Amazon. I got a magnetic seam guide and this is for all sewing machines. So this is universal. So this is just like um, if you want to put a seam guide on the side of your sewing machine so that way you can kind of like keep your stitches straight so yeah I, this comes in a pack of two and it basically just helps you to like guide you as you're sewing and this is good for beginners so i did get this looks like that so this is 10 yards of elastic cord and I got one pack of white and one pack of black. And these can be used in like, again, like hoodies. I was actually using these cords to make like these corded like bandana crop tops. I have to show you guys an example of what I use these for. So yeah, you can use these for so many different things. And I bought these ones off Amazon because they were cheaper. At first I had bought the round cord elastic from, I believe this one, is by Soology and I got it from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, these are good. You can insert them into like casings um, or you can put like zigzag stitching over the cords and you can create like gathers to like gather any like of your projects or you can use them on like doll and baby clothes and button loops, so buttonhole loops. So these are good for that. Okay, so next I got a white and a black 40 yards of elastic spool. This knit elastic can be used for underwear, pants, sportswear, shirts, waistbands, um, necklines, or any other like DIY craft projects that you want to use this for. So I originally bought this for, I'm trying to, what did I buy this for? For waistbands. Um, so yeah, I like to use elastic for most of my waistbands. So i bought that for that and those can also be used for like masks too i don't really like to use the bigger ones for masks i like to use the kind of like smaller elastic waistbands or like the cord um so yeah but those can also be used if you do so mass as well so next i bought these and i know you're like what the heck are these so these are sewing loop turners with a um a latch so these are good for like fabric straps, belts, and any like DIY accessories that you are making. This just makes it easier for you to turn it inside out. Um, so yeah, without having to use like a, um, what's it called? A safety pin. So yeah, I absolutely love this tool so much and it's definitely, definitely, definitely gonna help you with sewing. I think I bought this off um, eBay. But this was just like filter fabric for inside of the mask. So 
um, I have bought this for that but yeah I have not used it so yeah but I did buy that um, like little filter inserts for fabric insert for the mask and then I have bought some cord stops from Hobby Lobby for from the Soology brand so yeah you can use this for like um, drawstring waistlines hems jackets and bags so I had originally bought this for that I was making the little hoodie two-piece hoodie set and I needed some cord stops and I didn't end up using them so but yeah I have bought that for those okay so next I bought a grow grow met grow met kit um because I wanted to put some grow mats in um I was gonna make oh I was gonna put grow mats in the hoodie um DIY hoodie like thing that I wanted to make but I didn't end up using these again because I always change my mind but this is still a great kit to have because you can use grow mats for so many different things so this is good for like shoes clothing shoelaces tents which is a good like survival type thing canvases tarps um any like type of like diy projects that you want to do this is good for that there's like a metal a silver a bronze and a gold in here i don't know if that's copper something of that sort so that is what it looks like and i like how it comes in like this little box so the last kit that i have is by the brand big teddy and i specifically bought this kit because i was looking for a walker foot which is also good and like beginner friendly if you want to keep your stitches just in line or if you don't want things to like slip around this is what the walker foot is good for and um i was looking for something universal because like i said my kenmore machine is very very rare so i found one on amazon again that this walker foot is great for my specific machine so it's a 15 piece sewing machine snap on presser foot so it has 15 different pieces that you can snap on so i will link this in the uh, description box this kit is good for brother singer um baby lock genome back kimmore ricard and niche machines so yeah but i love 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 this so much so got this one and if you guys want to see different tutorials on how i use each different like foot i will do a video on that because it has like like i said 15 different uses for it so yeah so yeah that is pretty much it for my small little amazon haul and for this video i just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys tell you guys where, what i'm going to be doing moving forward when it comes to this channel i will still be doing like i want to focus more on like skincare and different black owned beauty products um and just black owned products on this channel as well especially in honor of black history month but even beyond black history month moving forward i want to focus more on that just discovering new products i actually just found a black owned business for diapers but i'm going to be doing that on my mommy and me channel which is me and my daughter's channel so you guys can go check that out too i'll put that up there if you're more interested in like parenting and like baby products of that sort i'm not going to be focusing on that on this channel that will be over on that channel and yeah this will be more strictly like us advancing in our skill doing more diy projects i still want to style things that i find as far as like anything that i thrift things that i make i still do want to provide you guys with the styling aspect um but yeah i want to get more into like the nitty gritty of the skill base aspect as well let me go know what type of like diy sewing videos uh technique videos that you guys want to see or need help with and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys embrace garment construction you guys because it is a learning process i promise you any designer or garment maker that you know does not get it right they do not get the first prototype or samples right on the first try so do not be afraid to cut into the fabric do not be afraid to just like play around wrong with your designs and like with sewing don't be scared yeah hopefully i gave you a little bit more confidence to just go after whatever it is that you're passionate about so i love you guys and until the next video i will see you at the top peace